Dear viewers, you are most welcome to the Experts Corner. And you, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, feel free to subscribe now. And uh, my name is Veronica Rose. I'm privileged today to host a SOC analyst and she will tell us more about herself. Brilliant. Thank you for having me, Veronica. I'm really glad to be here. My name is uh, Brilliant Kaimba. I have uh, two years of working experience as an information security consultant in Serian Limited, uh, specifically focusing on security information, um, um, security information, then uh, threat intelligence, research, and cybersecurity trainings. And I'm also a certified uh, EC Council instructor, uh, basically focusing on ethical hacking. And I'm also an ISO 27001 internal auditor, and I'm also a certified ethical hacker. Yes, so that's a brief background about uh, Brilliant. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Thank you, Brilliant. Uh, so today we are going to talk more about your role actually, and uh, this leads us to burnout. Uh, burnout can really hurt your heart, literally I mean hurting. And uh, the recent uh, real life headlines are telling disturbing stories because uh, burnout is affecting workers everywhere. And uh, since we are used to hearing tales of uh, chronic stress impacting uh, people working in traditionally demanding fields like medicine, uh, emerging services. Uh, the truth is work-related emotional, physical, and mental exhaustion can take its toll on anyone. And imagine the cybersecurity professional is not immune, especially the Security Operations Center, and uh, where analysts cry underneath the weight of uh, immense workload and pressure. So today, Brilliant, uh, we would like you to tell us what a day in a life of a SOC analyst means. Thank you very much, Veronica. So a day in a life of a SOC analyst is uh, quite interesting. Uh, it's a very interesting experience. Uh, allow me to take you just back to when I started being a security analyst. So I have a background in uh, coding, programming, and I specialized in uh, web applications. Uh, then I got introduced into cybersecurity. So my transition was, uh, was not that easy because I was uh, used to programming, running, a number of codes, testing programs, and uh, syntax. So when I transitioned to um, cybersecurity, uh, it was very interesting, though challenging at first. So I started at uh, level one as a security analyst, which was basically dealing with the uh, monitoring. So as a, secu uh, a security analyst uh, normally monitors uh, network traffic and tries to analyze a number of uh, security events. So the monitoring aspects normally has uh, four levels. We have level one, level two, level three, and uh, level four. So the first level, which is basically for beginners or an entry level, it normally consists of now the security analyst. So when you go to the second level, which is now the intermediate level, Level, it uh, normally consists of the technical engineers and it normally deals with stuff like networking and uh, deployments. And when you go now to the third level now, which is the advanced level, it consists of um, things to do with the forensics, you get to do malware analysis, and you, you, you get to dive deep into threat hunting most of the time. And uh, finally, the fourth level, which is the which deals with operations. Uh, it basically uh, deals with the now supervision of the SOC, the SOC teams, the Security Operations Center team. So whenever you, you come to the SOC, uh, you have to pass through the level one, which is now the basic or the entry level before now processing to the other, the other levels. So being an, an analyst, um, you have a number of responsibilities, daily responsibilities that you, you need to achieve. The first one being uh, monitoring network traffic and basically analyzing a number of critical incidents and critical alerts that normally come in real time. And um, apart from that also, an analyst, you get to generate a number of reports, escalate the critical issues also to the, your team members that are available on shifts. Uh, you also get to run reports, you get to analyze them and uh, share them out. 
and uh, finally as a, as an analyst you also get to do a uh, threat uh, hunting threat hunting is now when you get now to drill down to a number of events uh, looking for uh, malicious activities that are happening in your environment and you can do this with a, a tool called uh, sim security information and event management so basically that's uh, an overview of uh, what what are they in the uh, life of a SOC analyst is wow wow that is awesome <laughs> Yeah, I'm enjoying that we are really recognizing and uh, uh, we are recognizing burnout and uh, this is the best way we can uh, do our best to ensure that we survive this soft burnout. So uh, yeah. any more remarks on the same you would like to add on the same? Yes, uh, regarding the burnout, as an analyst, um, you can recognize a burnout when uh, first you uh, feel tired, you tend to feel tired and uh, your body is like uh, drained a lot. Uh, you also get to find yourself uh, not satisfied with uh, what you have accomplished uh, by the end of the day. You feel like uh, you haven't accomplished anything. And also you can uh, recognize a burnout when uh, you have like a lot of uh, stress. Then you end up not uh, concentrating uh, with your work for, to, for, for, for the day. So basically that's how uh, when I was an uh, analyst, I, 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 I recognized whenever I have this burnout. And uh, there are a number of ways you can, um, you can survive this, this burnout. So the first thing is uh, uh, it's, no, it's normally good to work on, to, on shifts. Uh, let's say you have the first person working for the first two hours, then, uh, uh, then they take a break, then the second person comes uh, uh, to pick up from there. Apart from that, it's also good uh, as an analyst, you have to be careful with the, the data that you're trying to to pull or the report that you're trying to pull because you need to prioritize these critical threats, critical alerts, critical events in order for you now to avoid drowning in a, in a lot or too much data. So apart from that also, it's, um, it's normally good to have this uh, automation, automation tools like uh, SIM, especially when it comes to reporting aspects because uh, this is normally helpful because it's no, it normally saves a, a lot of time. And uh, instead of doing things manually, it now automates your process and you end up saving a lot of time. So as an analyst, uh, you will see that all these practices that I've just mentioned, it's, uh, they are useful and they really, really help a lot in uh, reducing these uh, burnouts. Thank you. And uh, I also would like to say that it's also good to understand how stress affects your brain and your body so that you do something about that. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much, Brilliant, for this wonderful session and also for letting us know more about your day. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Thank you so much. And to our viewers, thank you so much for watching. Again, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on more of the upcoming sessions. Thank you. Thank you, Brilliant. Thank you very much, Veronica, and I really appreciate what you're doing. Uh, thank you.